Hi guys! Today I am playing with the Inside and Out kit from Feed Your Craft and Brandy Kincaid. This kit has literally just been released and I don't think it will last long so do make sure you use the link down below in the description box and head over and check it out. It really is a beautiful kit. Now I've got this 4x6 photo, it's a landscape photo and I don't normally put these into my traveler's notebook um, but it didn't make it onto a project life spread and um, I didn't really want to waste it so I decided to give it a go in here. All I did was make sure that I cut a line down the photo so I split the photo into two. I, placed it roughly where I want it to go on the page um, and then just cut a line down it because you can't obviously um, fold your photos especially when you're working in a uh, pocket page notebook like this so I've just split it in two and one half will go on the actual page of my notebook and the other half will go onto the um, pocket size insert uh, piece of paper that I've cut out there. Now I've been playing around with the cards in the kit and I found of course the rainbow striped card in the kit which you know must be made for me because I had to use that one, no other choice. And then there was this 3x4 card um, that had this beautiful pink frame around it and uh, it just went so nicely with the rainbow card um, and the cool tones of my photo. I had to use that. I thought about putting it underneath my photo um, but it seemed like a good solution to trim out the inside side of the card and to use it as a frame around my photo. The photo is a little bit sort of nondescript. There's no huge story here. I just got up very early one Saturday morning to edit videos, uh, funnily enough. Uh, and I took a photo for Project Life, but like I said, it never actually made it in there. So I'm not going to add any journaling to this page. There isn't um, a whole lot to be said about this. I'm going to let some of the sentiments in the kit do the talking for me. So that frame is just going to highlight the fact that I am there, I'm in there sitting in the dark editing videos um, and I really love the colour contrast between the pink which is a lovely cool toned pink mind you but um, between that and the blue of the photograph. So here we go, I've just added a little bit of tape runner which probably wasn't the ideal tape of choice um, and stick that down. I really love the way it looks having one card behind the photo and this sort of frame on top of it here. So now I'm going to play around with some of the stamps in this gorgeous stamp set um, and I'm just starting off by kind of auditioning the stamps that I want to use I guess. I'm pulling them off the sheet so that I remember that I want to use them. There are a few on there that I just really loved but worked really nicely with the photo including this little frame stamp here which I just want to um, create my own little frame embellishment. Embellishment's probably more what it is. I'm not going to trim it out. Uh, so I went and picked out some ink colors that I thought matched some of the colors in the rainbow there. Um, and I'm just going to stamp them all out just on the scrap paper. So this little piece was from the inside of that journaling card. And I stamped these two and I'm not super happy with how they look. I will trim them all out and just play around with them but I decided to do a yellow one. Um, and then I went and grabbed a darker ink. There's sort of a navy darker blue in the stripe as well. Um, so I grabbed out my navy blue ink just to see whether that would um, stand out enough I guess. It's gonna be on a pretty busy background um, and so I do want it to be able to stand out. Now this is the stamp that I'm going to stamp inside all of these little frames, like I said, I'm just auditioning them. That's the great thing about stamps is you can create your own little embellishments like this. You can create as many as you want in all different colours and work out which one suits your layout best. Uh, and I'm just swapping this ink here for the navy one to do a blue. I should have cleaned that stamp off, it was a bit messy. Uh, and then I'm just going to trim them all out and lay them down where I want them to go and see which one I think works best. So none of them actually like super popped off the page for me. I don't don't love the pink, it's sort of too much pink and I end up going with this yellow. The blue one, uh, the darker blue one got a bit lost on the blue of the background. So I think the yellow is going to stand out the most. Uh, but I am going to create a little cluster. I'm going to create three clusters in the end, funnily enough, always in uh, groups of three. Because I knew that I had this... Um, 
die cut. Well, this is a DIY die cut. All of the Feed Your Craft kits come with um, a digital printable, which I just ran it through my silhouette and trimmed out all the little um, die cut pieces here so I could use them on my layout. And that one just says, just stay here, which I really loved. I love the minty green of it. Just. Um, it just reminded me of how I feel on a Saturday morning when I'm slogging away on the computer and I wanted to use that. So that's what I'm going to base this little cluster up the top with. Um, again with the little tag here. I just went through those die cuts and pulled out the ones that I think might work. I'm going to use a couple of labels too and some of these tiny words as well. So I'm just using the colours, we're trying to use the colours that are in that rainbow card. Obviously being a rainbow card there are a lot of colours in there but there's also other colours in the kit um, and so I am trying just to pick out the ones that are going to match that rainbow. So although I loved the little love it word, I'm not using a lot of that sort of, um, it's almost a khaki kind of yellow so I'm just um, swapping that out for the show up card, uh, card little, little words um, and that definitely works with colour wise. I forgot that I hadn't stuck down any of those bits up there on the right hand side and so I start working on the left hand side here creating my second and third cluster before I realise that I haven't done the first one. So I've stuck down my label and my little small step circle which I love as well. The, the fonts on there are really great. I end up with a mix of different styles on this page which um, I really love. Now up here I'm desperately desperately trying to make this stamp work. Uh, it says comfy clothes come first which is 100% true around here but um, I end up not being able to make that stamp work. Um, I probably should have just stamped it on its own rather than trying to create a cluster around it which doesn't work so um, next time next time I'll be able to use that stamp instead. So I glued down my two little embellishments and I still can't make that stamp work. I've already stuck them down obviously so I need to make a little cluster up here. I really want to use the wee coffee cup, I'm calling it a coffee cup, it's probably a teacup, um, or the wee kettle but uh, that they're a different style to the rest of the die cuts that I've used because they have that black outline so I decided not to use them. I'm going to use the other tag that was on the printable, it's in that same sort of um, so it's a darker tealy green so it works nicely with the page. I'm just going to peel off the ones that I've stuck down and just stick that in behind there. It kind of echoes the shape on the right hand side too so it works nicely together. Just add my little tiny word and now I've got um, two, two clusters. You can see there I'm still desperately trying to use that stamp. Give it up Diane, it doesn't work. Um, and then I realized that I hadn't stuck down the one on the right hand side so I'm going to work on that one next which is easy enough because it's all just in place. I just need to go ahead and glue it down. I find that when I do this um, it never ends up in the same place. Everything's a lot lower down than when I had originally had it sitting there um, which actually works out nicely because it balances the layout a little bit more. Um, I've got so that I've got the one down the bottom, the one on the left hand side and then the one on the right hand side sort of sits in between those two clusters so that gives me my visual triangle. Now I wanted to do, well I wanted to cheat and this is a great cheat I reckon. Um, it needed something else to the page and I wasn't going to add any journaling to this um, and I thought about doing some splatters but you know me, I'm crap at splatters so I decided to fake them. I grabbed out these gel pens and you can see here I've zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing, it's a little bit harder on the other um, clip but I'm just faking splatter. I'm just drawing some dots, random little dots all over the place, some bigger, some smaller. You kind of just have to do this by eye, there's no um, rhyme or reason to it. I did try to keep the splatters roughly round about where my clusters are and I added a couple of different colours in there as well. So it looks like I went OTT on the mixed media when actually I used none. So there's a little life hack for you, a totally non-messy way of doing messy splatters. I love this kit, it's so beautiful, the colours in it are fabulous and like I said I don't think this one will last long so do make sure you use the link down below and head over to the Feed Your Craft store and grab it while you can. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me any comments or questions you've got down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.